I'm really excited that uh, I will be representing England. Uh, I have lived in England more than half my life and uh, I've trained under uh, British coaches uh, since the age of uh, 15. Uh, since I can remember, I came to uh, uh, as a 15 years old kid in 2006 uh, under a scholarship in Millfield School, uh, training under Jonah Barrington. And then uh, I went to study at the University of the West of England in 2009. Uh, and then I graduated and then um, Bristol has become my home since then, really. And I, I got my British citizenship only a few months ago. Uh, and um, England Squash have helped me so much to, with visas, with uh, making sure that I live in the country even after I finish universities, uh, after I finish my university. They, they've I've always, whenever I spoke with uh, uh, David Campion or uh, or any of the England squash um, uh, crew there, you know, they've always told me we're doing this because it's not particularly because we want you to play for England one day. We're doing this because it's important for us that you live in the country. We want you to live in England. And uh, when, you, when, you, when you have people like appreciate you for who you are like that, without expecting anything back from you, you know, it, it, it just, uh, it always meant a lot for me. and. Uh, and um, and when I got the opportunity that I can represent England, uh, I got so excited about the opportunity that I can play for for, for the for the people that uh, that um, that did a lot for me, you know, when I was in England and uh, living in England. And uh, I told them I'm gonna give everything I can, you know. I I feel like I owe it to myself and to you guys to try and uh, uh, I've won so many titles playing for Egypt, you know, and. Uh, I feel like I owe it to this country and to England to uh, to try and win titles for them, playing under the English flag, for everything they have done for me. And uh, I would like to win another world champ for them. I would like to come back to world number one under the English flag, and I'm going to give it everything I can to do it. Mm -hmm. When I was speaking with England squash, you know, I've told them, you know, I uh, I would like to help the next generations after I finish my career, and I would like to make sure that even after me, after I finish, you know, I, I want to make sure that England has uh, so many players coming up competing at the top of the game, men and women, you know, because uh, England has a long history in the sport. And uh, I grew up watching that history from, as I said, I came at the first day I, I arrived to England as a 15 years old kid. It was Jonah Barrington who coached me. So I have always uh, became part of that, you know, to, to dream, you know, to keep it going in England. Even when I wasn't playing for England, I wanted to stay and make sure that uh, there is a lot of generations coming up after me, you know, and uh, to play under England, you know, I want to, the mentality that I learned from all the great coaches I had behind me, I want to keep that mentality going for England. And uh, I think uh, one of my main strengths as a squash player was my mental, was my mental strength. And, uh, and I think it plays a big part in the, in the game. And I want to teach this to a lot of the next generations in England. There is a lot of youngsters that they have with great talent and they have a lot of potential. And, um, and I was once like them and I had a lot of potential and I had a good talent, uh, but I was lucky enough I had the right people around me with the right mentality. And um, I think there are a few things that I can um, help them with. Uh, and um, because I told English question, I, I mean, I grew up watching Nick and James and, and even Peter Barker and Selby and Grant, they were a golden generation. It wasn't just about one player inside the top 10, there were many of them. Just like there are many Egyptians right now inside the top 10. And I, I know why there are many of us inside the top 10. It's because of their mentality, you know, more than their talent, you know. Uh, it's easy to have talent, you know. There are a lot of talents in this world, but the mentality become the most important thing. And, uh, and that generation, that golden generation, there were all of them there inside the top 10 because of their mentality. Uh, and, uh, and I learned that from them, you know, by living in England, watching them playing against them. And uh, I would like to help to get the culture a little bit back again, because I felt like after that generation retired, uh, there haven't been a player with that same kind of mentality that Nick and James and these guys, ha these guys had. And uh, I feel like I can help with that part of the game a little bit. And uh, yeah, I mean, um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm excited about, that I feel like this is something I can help with. And um, obviously it's a two-way thing, you know, as well, you know, and uh, England is going to help me so much with uh, the support that they can give me. I'm still competing at the highest level and I want to go back to world number one. And to do this, I need to set an example. So I want to set an example as a squash player first, you know, to these guys. And um, 
I want to set an example even after my career, you know, and to do this, I need to be as professional as possible. And that's the way I was taught. And uh, I'm really excited to actually become a part of, of this, you know. I have seen how English squash supported Nick when I played Nick, all my, Nick and James when I played against them. And to be honest with you, this will be the first time in my life I have some support in my career, you know, and uh, which is people might be surprised, but I have never had any support before. I have done everything myself. Uh, I had to create my own team. I had to do all these things myself in my career. And uh, to be able to feel like there are some th th that England squash is, is coming forward and they're going to come and support me. This is the first time in my life I'm going to have support behind me. And this will help me to try and come back to be world number one again and to win the titles I know how to win, you know. And uh, I'm really excited about this challenge, to be honest with you, and uh, I cannot wait. Mm -hmm.